hello friends hope you all are doing good and uh, we are in this video we are going to cover uh, reversing a string this is one of the simplest like uh, simplest uh, program which uh, which you can practice and ideally i should have put it in uh, like first place okay but uh, like let's let's start and let us create a new class so we are going to reverse string okay uh, let's create our main method so public static void main and let's take a string i'm taking shellish and after it we have to like uh, create a method which uh, will reverse it so what our approach is going to be that right now like uh, if we start traversing so it's like just printing out each and every word of the string so for that we have to start with the zeroth index so right now this s is at zeroth index okay and similarly if we proceed so h will be at like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i think seventh index okay so if we'll just start with the seventh index then we can like print it uh, from the backward okay so reverse and string now let's create this method mm, create method okay private static void let's look it looks good and we have to take an empty string that will hold our value because whatever uh, like uh, we are not changing the uh, initial uh, string uh, we are uh, like saving that string in an, a reverse string okay and uh, let's write our for loop so it will start uh, our for loop will start from the length so it's better if we len gth length string dot length okay so we have to start from int i is equal to length and it should like go on till i is greater than the last word at the zeroth index and let's decrease the counter okay and after that like uh, we have to add this in rev string dot character at i so what it is doing that uh, like in the first iteration it will uh, pick uh, h okay and it will like save the that h in the reverse string okay that we will see uh, when we will debug okay uh, once it is done let us print the output so reverse string is rev okay mm -mm. index out of bound that means okay so we are starting like we have to decrease that because we will go till zero now let us run it again yeah and now what is happening it is printing null mm what we can do is like empty empty space we have added an empty empty space in space of null and right now like SHI yeah it is printing correctly okay uh, so this is the first method okay mm, first method METHOD okay and now let's debug it and after that like i'll tell you one more method through which we can uh, which we can reverse the string so initially uh, the string contains shellish and if we okay in this at this point it is uh, like uh, it is finding the length length is 7 like actually length is 8 but it is decreasing one because we have to start from the 7th index 
and uh, at i7 right now h like h was at seventh place so it has been included in the reverse and now like s is there so it is going to add s also so see like similarly s e and in reverse order a h s and after that it is going to print the reverse like the reverse uh, string okay so and end of the program now let us see a uh, second method so we are going to use a string buffer in it buffer mm, this is the second m met m t h o d using string buffer okay and we have to like create method okay private static void looks good and again like can anyone comment why this is private and not public after that uh, like we have to define a new string buffer okay. sp new string buffer and we have to pass a string in it and just simply reverse it so if i comment down this so it should print the reverse okay we are not printing actually sp dot reverse so s out now it should print yeah, it is printing like uh, this is uh, already made method which is uh, provided us by the string buffer class and uh, if if i open this reverse method so string buffer reverse it is also calling reverse so super keyword okay so can anyone uh, like comment down why we are using super in this and wh what is the like uh, use of super uh, keyword okay just comment it down if you know so here they have defined the method of uh, reverse and here like uh, they have taken a boolean hash surrogate we have to see okay this is boolean and count their uh, like for loop like we have to see what exactly they are doing it look little complex to me but uh, like we have to debug and see how this reverse method is working which is provided us by the java guys and let us like take uh, some test cases so if i print it in so right like for the moment just like this is simple uh, through string buffer most of the time you will be asked to write this logic okay so here if we like uh, write the second test case so this is test case number one and if i pass string one as in capital okay sk so it should uh, and if i pass pass my string here so it should print ks ks that is working fine and if i like try to add the numerical part so 2 3 and 1 9 yeah 3 2 ks 9 1 okay so and let us like i don't think like spaces will be invalid but let us try to add spaces also at the starting and the beginning yeah i think uh, they have included the space see and we can also trim it so uh, there can be a counter question regarding how to trim the uh, like following and trailing like at the starting and at the end like these uh, spaces we have to so we have to like trim it at the time of uh, reversing um, we can trim it or maybe initially itself uh, at the time of this string dot trim okay this will also work so we can try it accordingly so that's it guys i hope uh, like both this this one is important because string buffer uh, like i don't think they are going to uh, like ask you the already made uh, method most of the time you will be asked uh, regarding this method so i hope uh, i have cleared it but still if you have any doubt just comment down below 
and uh, like uh, if you haven't seen the initial video uh, like we are in this series we are covering 10 basic java questions which are java programs which are like kind of mandatory uh, for any qa guy if uh, like he or she is uh, trying to learn automation or in general itself like these are very basic programs okay so just uh, see the first video of this playlist and uh, you will get an idea thank you guys